welcome to Basketball Talk Pro. I'm Ron Ecker uh, and I'd like to mention to those of you that are uh, working on that deflection study uh, that I kind of would like to get that uh, finalized and uh, bring closure to it. We're having some interesting results in that and I'd like to give that uh, after we get everything together uh, give that to the whole whole group because I think it is something that they need to put into their uh, coaching uh, uh, effort uh, and thinking. Uh, and if you haven't uh, asked for a form yet, uh, it's still time uh, between now and Sunday. So go ahead and email me and I'll get you the form. And uh, especially if you're doing high school games, uh, they're very short. Uh, it doesn't take you long at all. It is not hard. Uh, so don't be hesitant uh, to get involved. I think it's good for you to get this kind of pr uh, practice of film study. Because you're gonna, if you're going to coach, you're going to do it all your life. Uh, and then the other thing I wanted to mention to you before we get started here is we're having a webinar on Saturday. Uh, this Saturday, which is January 25th, uh, it starts at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, it'll go approximately an hour with uh, a question and answer period uh, included in that. Uh, but this is a more intensive type of effort, uh, and I think it's important to you uh, for two reasons. One, I think uh, the, the learning how to use statistics properly uh, can help your coaching, uh, can, uh, can make your efforts uh, better. And the second thing is there is definitely a movement uh, in this direction. Uh, there may become a time that you, you can't get jobs if you don't have some background in it. This uh, webinar uh, is just a kind of an uh, elementary uh, a starting point to get you so that you feel more comfortable with statistics and uh, working with them. It is not, uh, you do not need to major in statistics. This is for simplicity for use of coaches who uh, are not statisticians, uh, but there's useful things that can come out of it. So I think it's important to your, your career. Uh, you will get a, an email uh, explaining how to register. You have to register for the course. And uh, it's important to register. Uh, but uh, by tomorrow, uh, you will receive an email with a link uh, that you can register. It's very simple, just your name, email, uh, and I think that's it. Two or three uh, things that you'll need. We will get that to you uh, very shortly so you can uh, register. Well, today uh, I want to talk about learning. Uh, I've said this before in one of our segments. As a coach, uh, study learning, uh, not teaching. Uh, learning, uh, how your players learn, uh, is uh, what we do. Uh, and so uh, I, I, I don't really talk about teaching. Uh, I talk about learning, and uh, I'd like you to, uh, we, we will get a start in it today. Uh, there really are ten principles of learning that I, uh, I work with. Uh, they're all in the book. I cannot, I cannot go through all ten principles, but I am going to do the first two uh, principles. And uh, they're, they're uh, principles that I learned a long time ago and uh, have stayed with me. And I still think uh, they're, they're very, very important. To me, they're the very most important, uh, these, uh, these first two. Uh, so uh, it, there's a little story behind these uh, principles, which really are quotes uh, that, that were given to me personally. Uh, I, I started as a high school coach at a school in Michigan, uh, a school that had had a lot of 
a lot of problems, uh, in not only in sports, but in, in uh, uh, other areas uh, as well. Well, I had a, uh, you know, I had to teach courses. I, I don't remember, but it was it seemed to me a lot. Uh, but uh, I had a one period uh, that I wasn't teaching a course, and uh, there was a little teacher's lounge there, and uh, we would go in there and, and prepare and, and uh, get ready uh, for our other courses. I was always in there with one other man. He was the chemistry teacher. He had an alcohol problem. He's a brilliant guy, uh, and he had been a coach, a basketball coach at one time. Uh, so you know, we had we had talks, um, but uh, one day I, I you have to kind of envision this guy. He always sat on the couch, and he and he was always working. He always had things he was doing, getting ready for. For class, and he had his those little glasses that stick on your your nose down here at the end. Uh, and um, uh, one day I, I was I was talking, and like a typical first year coach, I thought I knew everything uh, about basketball. Uh, and uh, so I I told him uh, that I uh, was really wanted to get smart players, good students, because uh, that would you know they would. Uh, pick things up uh, better. And he just looked up at me and said, uh, players play basketball with their spinal cord, not with their brain. Now at first, actually that's not quite accurate even, but the thought and reflecting on it, and over years and years of reflecting on it, uh, I, I now know and, and learn uh, not too long, what he was talking about. We play with our instincts. And what he was telling me is train their instincts. Uh, don't worry about whether they uh, are good students or not. Uh, it's about instincts. Uh, and I, I have come to believe that, uh, first of all, that uh, instinctive play uh, is the best type of play. And I've also come to believe that you can teach that uh, if you uh, are willing to put your effort uh, into it. You can help players learn how to play instinctively with the types of drills you run, the type of uh, play uh, that uh, you use uh, the type of offenses and defenses that you use, you can uh, put them in an environment uh, where they learn how to use their instincts. Because in game conditions such as a fast game as basketball, uh, we don't have time to think everything out. Thinking inhibits us. Uh, we want to go beyond thinking to playing instinctively. Uh, so that was my my first uh, time with him, and I, I uh, you know, I didn't take it seriously at first. But, but over the years, I started to take it seriously, and now I know what that man meant. Well, at another time, a second time, and the second quote that I want to talk about with with learning is uh, I've gotten a drill, just like all you guys do. You're all excited about a drill. This is going to be, be the, you know, the, the, the mecca for you. It's going to change all, all things and make you a wonderful coach. Uh, and I was uh, talking to him very enthusiastically about how I was going to teach this drill. And going through all of the things, you know, and I uh, how I was going to talk, how I was going to uh, approach it. and I was talking, though, about myself. And he looked at me uh, and he said, it's not how you teach, it's how they learn. And if you can only learn one thing from Basketball Talk Pro, that would be the one thing to carry with you. You have to take yourself out of it. You have to 
uh, be concerned with their learning, uh, not your teaching. I, I watch a lot of practices. Uh, and what I see so many times is almost a show uh, in teaching a drill or an offense. Or, uh, it becomes a show. Uh, we're all, we, we have to put on a little show uh, as coaches. And we all have egos. Uh, but the better you can curb your ego and turn your focus to the players and how they learn and uh, how you can help them learn. I've said this many times, study learning, not teaching. Uh, and it, it will pay off for you. You know, we're, our teaching, our work with players is different than the classroom uh, teacher. Uh, you know, we have one thing going for us. I have a friend that's a teacher, and she's an excellent teacher. I, I told her I've never seen, I've never had a teacher in my whole career uh, that, uh, like you, uh, I wish I had. Uh, and, uh, uh, but the effort there is on the teaching, and I mean on the learning, sorry. And uh, in our profession, we can't fail our players. You know, a classroom teacher just gives them a failing grade or a low grade. We can't do that. Uh, we have to approach them in such a way that they learn. Every player learns, regardless of the difficulty uh, of it. We have an added uh, challenge in are working with uh, with players, but remember this: it isn't how you teach; it's how they learn. Uh, and as you grow with that and uh, bring it into the inner soul of yourself, uh, you will find that things start to fall in place a lot better for you. I want you to reflect on those two things. Uh, in working with your players and, and, and yourself. In order to understand how to get your players to learn, you're going to have to do a lot of digging on yourself. You're going to have to do studying. You're going to have to do things like this deflection little study we're doing. Uh, you're going to have to do film study. You're going to have to do study other than just basketball because there's a lot of learning principles in other uh, areas that, are, uh, that we can use, that can help us. So please reflect on the two things that we talked about. Uh, and uh, I want you to uh, be prepared for this webinar. I hope you take part in it uh, because it is something that is taking place in basketball right now. Uh, and uh, uh, and also, uh, you know, the two things that uh, I mentioned today about learning. Uh, so we'll see you next time. Uh, have a nice day, and uh, we'll see you in a couple of days. Thank you.